When she started that OnlyFans, I kid you not, when she started that OnlyFans, in four days, what? she made a million dollars. Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you a stepper, bitch, you better step that 30 shoe like Steph. I earn my stripes, but I am not a ref or cook a mother no chef. And I'm so right that I ain't going left. Ain't nothing like the rest. It's like a pastor, you get your ass blessed. Like I can't copy my check. My life a movie, I don't do no adding. Get broke like a fashion. Pistol packing, I ain't never lacking. I'll let you have it. Oh we in traffic with the fucking ratchet. We'll do you nasty. Oh Bucky calling cause I took your shit and disappear like man. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Beasley, and I'm coming to you with a little something. And I ran across an article about this dance hall singer named D'Angelo. Now, D'Angelo used to be married to another big dance hall artist named Beanie Man. Beanie Man's real popular, you know, all around the world. So, there's rumors she fell on hard times, D'Angelo. And for y'all who doesn't know what she looks like, I'm gonna put a picture somewhere around here of her, but she claims she fell on hard times and you know what famous women do when they fall on hard times? It seemed like, well, I can't say that because there hasn't really been any A-list famous people, but people with some females with some sort of clout, some sort of sex appeal, you know what they do? They go to the OnlyFans, which ain't, ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but, um, just know that people will never look at them the same again. You know, society is gonna look at them as, you know, words you can't say on YouTube. She was struggling, and she was struggling financially, and Beanie Man's um, child support wasn't enough for her to live her lifestyle that she wanted. So, she started OnlyFans, and when she started that OnlyFans, I kid you not, when she started that OnlyFans, in four days, she made a million dollars. In four days. So, I mean, she probably didn't get all the million because of taxes, but she made a million dollars in that account before taxes in four days. A hundred and thousand, a hundred and thousand. A hundred thousand people subscribed to her account on OnlyFans which is mind boggling. But being that dance hall is very popular all around the world and she's a and she's a big dance hall artist, that shouldn't be that surprising. So I'm thinking to myself like this. What image is that sending to the youth? Like, not even just the, the youth. What what is that sending to society? And I know that she doesn't. It isn't her responsibility to be a role model for all young girls and all young boys and even people around her age. It's not her. It's not her responsibility necessarily. But when you have fame, um, that's just the reality is people look up to you. Message. So, oh well this really impact the generations coming in? Like, how would they affect that? Like, will girls not starting, like, will girls not just, just, just not want to go to college anymore? Girls and guys, because guys do OnlyFans too. So uh, are, are the younger people going to just be like, nah, I'm just going to be an OnlyFans model. And to throw a disclaimer out, OnlyFans is not just for that. OnlyFans is, is a, an all-inclusive, progressive um, platform for creators to make the content that they want to make. But what's making OnlyFans the most money is the sexual content. So that's why I'm talking about sexual content. With that being said, how is that going to affect the future of everything? Like... They say dating is going downhill. They say relationships are going downhill. People are saying things like that. I wouldn't go to that extreme just yet, but I will say that there is going to be a strong effect to this because there's going to be young girls who, as soon as they turn 18, they're going to go straight for this career. And um, 
for a lot of, for some of them it's going to be very fruitful and they're going to be making a lot of money and that's going to deter other females and other guys I keep saying just females but there's more females than, than guys they're going to deter other young people from not reaching like other jobs that society needs like scientists lawyers doctors construction people just regular essential workers like people who work with food or hotels or transportation things like that like it's going to deter them from being those type of people in society so what kind of economical effect would that have on society um, it just seems like it just seems like that only money that only money it just seems like that only fans money is really good and like for the most part there isn't a male counterpart for that and I say that and I know you know men are, are they have their money and they're pretty rich in other categories like and when I say categories I mean other business ventures as corporate America the, you know they're, they're, main, they're million dollar athletes they're you know they're um, business owners but usually that takes a lot of hard work and to start OnlyFans all you need is a computer and a camera and a working internet connection and that's it no work involved well, I won't say that because you do got to create content, you do got to take pictures, and you do have to edit. But it's much less work than if you were doing those jobs that I mentioned before. So, with that being said, you're going to see a lot more OnlyFans accounts come. You're going to see, you're probably going to see a lot of younger females and men trying to start OnlyFans. And that would that would probably be unfortunate because that may cause them to cause them to, to fail at life because everybody's not going to make that much money as the top OnlyFans makers. Everybody's going to make that type of money, so it's just going to flock them over there and they're not going to make as much as the money, you know. Everybody's not good as the top people. But that's just my thoughts. This is Bad Beastly TV. And I'm out. Bruh.